Dartmoor here. Yeah, you'd think it would be a bank holiday or something. It is about what they call the Thank you. 
What's the name of this town? This is Ash, uh, Ashbury. 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 Ash, Ashburn. Ashburton, isn't it? Ashburton. Ashburton, yes. Ashburton. Ashburton. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Free house. All right, we can go get some Boddingtons Wait, there. No, I'm at it in. No, I don't want Straight on the It's a fair sized place. It is. But, uh, yeah. They all strung out along this road. Isn't it? Just the one main road. Just the one main road. Yeah. Ourselves. You beat it, you, we beat you by about 30 seconds. Oh. <laughs> so, don't worry about that. Yeah, we did. We had a great sleep. Yeah. How about you? Um, well, I woke up once, half six. Oh, yeah? Straight back to sleep, no trouble. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
I think that was the, that was the beer making the kettle. We found a place with a better breakfast this morning, but it cost five pounds each, so it's a little bit dear, but... Yeah. Um, is there more to Has anyone told you? I don't know. So yeah. Well, I thought maybe we were thinking of. Yeah, we. Uh, There's a sign for it halfway down where you turn right where they play the bowls. Yeah. Oh, that's not too bad, that. Plus, we've got another suggestion too. We uh, there's a steam train that goes from Payton to. The steam railway. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard about that. Where is it, Kathy? Where does it go to, Kath? Dartmouth or something like that, or Dartmouth or Dartmouth, or is that where it goes? That's the town that we get to. Yeah. you here for a minute and take a few a little bit of footage on this nice walk up to Cockneyton Village. So Dave if you'd like to look behind you and say hi. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Then I can get you on film forever and then you can step in the mud while you're saying hello to me. <laughs> No, it seems quite clear actually. Hear the babbling brook on the right here. Must be in those bushes there. Hi Kathy, hi Carmel. <laughs> oh, not your bottom, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't zoom in on your bottom like this ever. Oh no, no. <laughs> back for my picture taking expedition. Everybody had a nice rest? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Glad we're on the byway, but uh... What's that? Well, not a big, no. Time to go on a trip. to Peyton now. They told us not to walk, but we walked anyways. Embassy, hey, hey Dave, set one up for me, will you? Yes. 
I knew we'd make it if we walked far enough. Admitted that? James what? Oh, James what you say? <laughs> well, well, well. Hey, Kath. Yeah. Did he invent the small one too? Every one. Every one of those? Mountain bike gear, a Triumph yeah, mountain bike. Which one's bigger than that, now? Nah? <laughs> <laughs> that's Austin Rally here. I'm talking to my father-in-law back home, in case you're wondering. <laughs> Say, Piccadilly. Too late. So close to France, we have to have one Peugeot there.
As you can see, Peyton's really crowded today because of a bank holiday. station. Now we're having a beer at this little pub here called the Stag Hotel. So I'll just go over. If I don't get hit by a car while I'm going over, I'll join Kathy at the table where she's at. Hi. <laughs> There's my beer waiting for me. Nice big block of cheese, orange, nice bread, salad. It's a real problems lunch. Right, Kath? Right on. Cornish pasta, do you? Yeah. Hi, Kath. Cornish pasty time. Not yet. Seagull, I'm getting pretty close to you, aren't I?
down there. Whistle. Come on, whistle. see out the front of the train from where I'm sitting, you know. No. These are, the other ones we used to have were really good because they were, the seats were right behind the driver and there was oh, glass, but these are, these new things aren't so good. Right. So, if you think that we're going to, well, where do you usually blow the whistle? Well, there's a station up here, I'll, I'll blow it before the station. You let me, let me know. Yeah. And I'll hit the button. <laughs> Same thing on the day liner, and their whistle is just the. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's thirds or fifths or uh, just one blast. Though like they do a, they do one one short, a long, and then two shorts. So. I went on that new train from. Look at the whole scenery as it goes yeah, by. It's great. Again, yeah. yeah. That's a good one. I can see that trestle in the background too. That's great. I don't know if you actually stop at the crossings, eh? Not this only that one back there, because it's poor visibility, see? Right. It's just 10 mile an hour, this one. Well, I was on the Dayliner with my friend Ross, who I'm telling you about, and we actually hit a Mustang. Yeah. Just bo whammo, and the hood went up across the window and down again, and it was a real, it was a real mess. <laughs> and I imagine it shook the guy up pretty bad, too. Wouldn't have wanted to been in the car. Well, there have been a few of those over here, not so much on this one. You do, he'll take, there's a token, but in that little box there's a machine. Yeah. And he'll ring the signalman up, and the signalman will, will give him release of the token. Okay. He'll take the token out, put it in the points, yeah. unlock the points. Uh, with that key and the token he's got in his hand. Right, you'll be able to... Now, if the signalman of trains going up and down here, mm -hmm. he wouldn't be able to get... That train on that line would have a key, and he wouldn't be able to take a key to undo the points. Ah. See, so it's a fail-safe system, so he can't have two trains on one track at one time. Right, so we go back up this track, don't that's we? That's right, yeah, I change ends in a minute. Yeah. Do you mind if I go down to the other end with you? Or? Yeah, that's right. When we go into Lescard, yeah. there might be inspectors up there. Oh, well, I'll just stay in my seat then. Well, no, it's all right, but hopefully they'll have gone by now. They were hanging around earlier on. I don't want to get you guys in trouble. But if they're, if they're on the platform, I'll, I'll see if you go back, but certainly it takes most of it anyway. Yeah, okay, sure. I'd like to catch a, a bit of a glimpse on the on the camera of that big bridge that you go under, the valley, yeah. you know? There's a that's buzzard that sits up there as well. A buzzard? Yeah, he sits under the, you might catch him. He, he told me, my wife's coming here today. Oh yeah. First time she's been up and down here, and I told her it's buzzard. We haven't seen him yet, but then the trip she didn't come, he right. was there. How long are you over for? We're over for a month. We don't go back till the 26th of June. Oh, lovely. So it's really nice, yeah. This is a key. To let other trains onto this line. You can't get on without that key. <laughs> There's that trestle. That's the big one, isn't it? Yeah. That's what this car find up. Yeah. So that's the one we went over that valley on the main line when we came in, right? That's when you come down from Plymouth. Right. Yeah. 
Sussex next. Oh yeah. So. I live down the other end of Cornwall. Other end of Cornwall? Yeah, I live down near St Agnes. Oh yeah. I'm not too familiar with Cornwall, but mind you, I've never been here before, so I shouldn't be familiar with it, right? No. Except for the few maps I've looked at. <laughs> I can't remember where Madeline said she was from exactly. Um, well, my parents lived in Wiltshire. Um, okay. and if that's near Somerset, not far from here, really. Far. No. But they um, they only lived there in the last 20 years of their life before that they were in Surrey. Oh, nice. So yeah, you we say this born. is a two-lane road, eh? It was. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Getting to a bigger one now, aren't we? Mm. I mean, that is a bit bigger. Say hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> say hi, Matt. Show her the movies. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, this is a quite a quite a freeway now, isn't it? Oh, it is. This is quite big now. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> they just change size all the time. Robin, I saw Robin. Did you? Yes, I did. Right there, uh, the one that just flew up to the fence there? And yeah, they're so tiny, the English um, robins, they're lovely. Because they were saying ours are sort of thrushes, not really robins. No, but they're very lovely. Yeah. Must be the train tracks up there. Yeah, that's right. Well, there's an old tram that runs along, um, further along here. Okay. Roll. <laughs> oh, it's gone. There we go. Oh, did you want to do a bit more? No, that was for you, Madeline. That was for you. That was for your little country estate there. I can see over the hedgerows up here, you know. Look at that. That's nice and fresh up here, too. Hardly see. Why is that? Trendy? Oh, I just can hardly see through the viewfinder. Oh, they Yeah. Oh, Oh, did you? Yards in Devon. <laughs> He's fixing his truck. Hi, dear. <laughs> Lovely sheep dog. Yeah. Mm. They're pretty smart, those dogs. Oh, they are wonderful. Love seeing them round the sheep up. Boy, do they get order. I think they're considered either the smartest or one of the smartest of these dogs. Oh, they are. They're brilliant. What's the 
name of this town? Colleton. Colleton. Entering yes. Colleton. Yep. It's very sweet. This town again? Colleton. Colleton? Yeah, it's full of pumps. Yeah, we've been to a what? We've been to it's a little tiny town. Oh, yeah, we've been to here. So much one to here, town. and there's one over. <laughs> there seem to be, be many more. pubs on every corner here. I'm sure Ross, you'll be interested in all this. Do you like the people? 25 yards, there's got to be another pub now. Oh, yes. <laughs> Still in Colleton. Canada. Alright. <laughs> Where are you from? From uh, Vancouver. Vancouver. Yeah. It's a long way off. So that's where that's where we're going for lunch. the top of the hill, eh? Well, we're supposed to be... Yeah, this is the top of Dorset, is it? Yes. See all the way around now. I guess this marks the highest point. Yeah. Oh, So it used to be a fort up here, is it? Roman fort. Roman fort? AD 43. 
1843. A.D. Oh, A.D. Anno Domine. 43. That's right. 43 before you could count to 43. Amazing. Yeah, it is. Gosh, that's worth coming up here. Coming up to the other side here of this Anno Domine 79 or whatever it is. 43. 43. There we go. Get it right. Okay. Bunny rabbits or something here. See. Ooh, bunny turd. That'll be good on the video. Bought the bunny turd. Bought the bunny turd. More English country roads, I must say. What's the name of this town? What's the name of this town, uh, Jenny? Broad Windsor. Broad Windsor. Uh -huh. Thank you. And in Broad? So this is the wall in Lyme Regis where the French lieutenant's woman was filmed. Meryl Streep walked out to the end of this wharf here and did her thing. Don't fall in my That's right. Stay in the so there she stood. Right where those two people are walking. Yep, that's it. The French lieutenants. That woman. She wasn't really. And the author, you can just see that, I believe it's that orange house right on the hill there, just peeking out. Well, apparently he lives right there. That might not be it though, I'll have to ask Madeline. Right, here we go, a little pan around the area. Walking into Lime Regis. There's where the French lieutenant's was. Very nice beach all told. <laughs> Here. Yeah, mm. the front porch. Yes, yeah, so leading down with that little house there. That's where they obviously come the road. Huh. So that's all. Out of it. Oh, here we are at Jenny's house. Obviously, oh, talking and kicking. Oh, sweet. We've got to keep walking on. That's right, we're going to have dinner here. We can see the ocean. Almost. Out there somewhere. Oh, hi, darling. Can't see, see any more. We came back in the house. 
Oh, no, quick weave. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Rachel, darling. <laughs>